Hey YouTube, got a fun project for you today. We're going to make a tool for making rivets using the hydraulic press. Um, I made this one a while back. It's for making 5 16 rivets. You see I've got an area here where it's recessed and that forms the head. Basically you stick your hot metal in there, squish her down and that's what it looks like when you're done. But we're going to make it out of a bigger chunk of steel. And I'm going to do three or four different sizes in this one. Uh, one thing I want to mention, I watched a guy make one similar to this, or similar to the one we're going to make. And he had a hard time getting the rivets out. He didn't have an area recess for the head, it was just flat. So the head stuck up above it and he was trying to get it with pliers and he fought and fought and fought and couldn't get the damn rivets out. He made three or four different ones and made the whole, whole size bigger on each one. Well when you stick hot steel in it and in his case hammer it, it's going to expand to whatever size that hole is and he couldn't get it out. Well there's a simple solution. Well, if you can see Drill the hole all the way through. If you're doing a quarter inch hole in it, or a quarter inch rivet, drill an eighth inch hole. Then you can use a punch, stick it in the end and pop it out. So, sorry you're going to have to deal with the noise. Got a little bit of snowstorm last night, so of course everybody's out cruising around. The highway's about 20 feet outside this door, so. It's noisy sometimes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll mount this chunk of steel in the vise and cut it off. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking on this video. Uh, one thing that drives me nuts is watching one of these videos and the guys just talk, 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 talk. Most of the stuff's common sense. I mean, you're a blacksmith, most blacksmiths got some common sense. So, you know, none of this stuff's set in stone. Make it the size you want make it work for you so I'll mount this up and uh, what I like to do is use my small small angle grinder to cut the line all the way around it and the reason I like that is I have better control on a smaller grinder plus the wheels are cheaper and then once I get a good good mark through it I'll uh, use the big one and finish cutting it alright here we go
this all done got five different sizes in there uh, smallest is an eighth inch that works good for using a 16 penny nail and I got quarter inch 5 sixteenths 3 eighths 7 sixteenths so let's go ahead and try it out I'll make a 5 sixteenths one each one I drilled a 64th over so the metal will fit in there when it heats up it'll expand and get good and snug but oh, I also drilled holes in the back side so I can use a eighth inch punch punch the rivets out so let's go ahead and throw a rivet in the forge and we'll make one Just like that, we have a rivet. Looks like I could have made that one maybe an eighth inch longer. So it completely filled up that recess. But but that's not a bad looking rivet. Alright guys, that'll be the end of the video, hope you enjoyed it, give her a thumbs up if you liked it, thanks.